collapses that could have contributed to the tragedy. The impact was so hard that coaches were lifted high into the air before they smashed onto the tracks. One coach was even tossed on its roof. 17 coaches of the two trains were severely damaged. The Railways Ministry has ordered a probe into what may have caused the crash. There are more than one versions of how the back-to-back -back crashes took place but what is certain is that there were three trains and two collisions at the same spot. Among the many questions surrounding the accident is how the Koromandal Shalimar Express was on the same track as the stationary goods train. Was it a technical glitch or a human error? Many have raised the possibility of a signal error. The Railways Ministry has been in the process of installing an anti-collision system covered across the country. Covered system alerts when a train jumps a signal which is the leading cause of train collisions. The system can alert the train driver, take control of the brakes and stop the train when it notices another train on the same tracks. However, railway spokesperson has said that the covered system was not in place in this route. Covered is an anti-collision technology developed in India to prevent train accidents. This system reduces the chance of an error to the margin of a single error in 10,000 years. Had this system been in place in this route, perhaps this tragedy may have been averted. Questions are also being raised about why didn't the railways put this system in this particular route. Perhaps the report of the inquiry to be conducted by the railways might offer answers to these serious questions and lapses.